All right, y'all ready to review a bourbon? I am. Um, yeah, so let's just get to it right after this. All right, we have Old Scout. All right, I didn't want to take up a lot of time before the, the initial little break there. I just pulled the paper off this thing because I have some caveats here. Uh, this is Smooth Ambler, so West Virginia. I think it's West Virginia. Let me look. Uh, yeah, West Virginia. Uh, Maxwell's in West Virginia. But that's where Smooth Am Ambler comes from, and this is Old Scout. But this is a a uh, b, b package uh out of Kingsport, Tennessee store pick. So um, it's going to give you the base, basic notes of smooth, uh, of Old Scout, Smooth Ambler's Old Scout. But it's, uh, now, uh, it is, this one's aged six years. I know they have a five-year age on there as well. Um, this is 57.8% alcohol by volume. Um, so, you know, we're, we're up over 115 proof here. Uh, but this is barrel number 28099, not that uh, that's going to make that big of a difference. I have not had the cork out of this yet, Oh, but I did pull the paper off, so let's do that. Nice cork pop, and we'll pour a little bit. So I'm, you know, I've, I've, I picked up several bourbons uh, when I went to Tennessee. Um, I still have one to try here that I haven't, I mean, I've tried it, I opened it for something else. I didn't review it. I just drank some of it. We kind of put the, but that's the 1792. Uh, I can tell you, I'm not that excited about the 1792, uh, the pick. It was better than the small batch, the single barrel, uh, pick. Um, it was a North Carolina bourbon society pick. It was better than that, but the Sweet Wheat is still my favorite in the 1792 lineup, but let's give this one a try. Now, Smooth Ambler with this Old Scout, this could, may or may not be MGP juice in here, all of it or, or some of it or, uh, you know. Um, I do know they started uh, distilling their own spirits as well, but uh, historically it's been MGP. But man, I am always amazed at, at MGP out of Indiana, it's, it just tastes so different, you know, across different selections and, and people who are doing stuff with, with that juice. But let's give this one a try. Let's look at the color on this. This is a medium amber. Uh, the nose on it, not punchy for sure for it to be, you know, 57.8% alcohol by volume. There's not a big ethanol kick. It's a darker nose. Sort of a, like a molasses-y nose on there. If I had to go like vanilla caramel, you know, it's getting darker than that. Little spice coming through on the nose, a little oak. Now, the, I don't know the mash bill on this, so... Um, I try to bring you only what's on the bottle, uh, but I do, I am familiar with Smooth Ambler and, and some of the things. Little, a uh, little bit of an earthy kick in there as well. All right, let me get the tongue wet. Hmm. I don't like to bring a lot of notes on that first sip. I can tell you. The palate is, the alcohol comes through more on the palate than the nose, all right? So it really wasn't a big ethanol kick on the nose. I can get down in there pretty good and it doesn't do that. A little bit slightly hot across the tongue at first. Let, let me get another wash. Mmm. Pretty good finish on that thing too. But the higher proof, let me swallow one more time. Yeah, it's got a little black pepper, uh, pipe tobacco kind of finish on it. Uh, good uh, mid palate, 
uh, on, on this thing. It's not too sweet. Uh, it's more rugged, rustic, I think, uh, earthy uh, in, in some of its, its notes. There is some oak coming through on this one. But mostly pipe tobacco is what, what I'm getting a lot of. And that and maybe some like rum-soaked raisins or something, you know, in there. Mm. Wow, that's pretty good, though. It, it really is. Now, again, this is a store pick. This is a, you know, uh, a higher uh, alcohol content. That, that's going to vary. The barrel's going to vary. All of this type of stuff, but yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Um, I forget what I paid for it. I don't think it was too extraordinarily high. Mm. There is some fruit coming through, but it's more like a dark cherry type note coming through, like really dark cherry. Uh, not a lot of like bright fruit notes to it. Uh, at all. Uh, I am getting a little of the apple pie spices, but not the apple. So I'm getting a little cinnamon in there. I'm getting a little allspice in there. Uh, maybe some nutmeg coming through. But uh, the black pepper is more pronounced uh, th than the other spice notes. Mm. No, oh, that's a good, that's a really, really good uh, bourbon. Uh, at least this bottle is. Um, yeah, I would, I would recommend it. Um, I would picture a cigar with this. A lighter cigar, not, not a heavy one. It, it, you know, it's not as pronounced as, as, as so, some other bourbon notes that I've had out of other bourbons. But the mouthfeel on it is, is pretty good. And I didn't really talk about the legs, but uh, it did coat the tongue fairly well. They're not, they're medium uh, trails coming down. Um, yeah, they're running okay. They're, they're, I would say middle of the road on, on legs on this thing, on the oils. But it does coat pretty good. It didn't like flood the entire palate. Uh, but man, that finish on this thing. That mid palate and finish is, is worth worth the uh, money spent on, on this bottle. Mm. Yeah, definitely some. Yeah, and again, it's not too sweet, but some good dark, uh, darker notes, dark fruit notes, dark tobacco notes, dark like pipe tobacco, like a perfumey pipe tobacco, and some of that perfumey. It's coming through with the oak notes that are they're coming out of it. So yeah, I would uh, definitely recommend Old Scout uh, for what you pay for it. Uh, but again, this is a B&B &B package uh, out of uh, Kingsport, Tennessee store pick. Uh, but you know, they're all gonna be relatively similar. So guys, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up as always. Please like and subscribe, hit the bell down there for notifications, and I promise I'll keep bringing you these videos.